All right, so welcome to lesson one. Uh, we're going to be focusing on layer masks. And why use layer masks at all? Well, layer masks are super helpful. They're a temporary covering up of an image, so it's non-destructive. And we're going to be practicing this out through all of these tutorials, and, and I want you to get really good at this. All right, so the first file I want you to open is called breeze.psd. Um, and the first thing I want you to do uh, after you have this image open is I want you to make sure that your layers panel is open. Um, remember, if you don't have that open, you can go to Window Layers and you can have your layers panel viewable. And take a look in this panel. There's two layers. Um, there's one layer that has this big yellow fill with this little thumbnail of a black circle on a white background. And then there's the photograph of the two people looking at each other um, in the flowers. Um, go ahead and turn off the visibility icon of the yellow layer to see all of the photo. So the yellow actually is completely covering up the image, but it contains this layer mask um, so that part of the layer below is revealed. Um, in the layers panel, the yellow layer has a thumbnail um, on the right that represents the image pixels. The thumbnail, um, I'm sorry, the, the uh, layer on the left is the, is the layer that represents the color or the image pixels. And the thumbnail on the right represents the layer mask. So you got to get used to this, this, this uh, mask thumbnail that's clickable and then the pixel or the image um, part of the layer that's also clickable. So let's talk a little bit about this layer mask um, right here on the yellow layer. Um, the white reveals 100% of the image. So in this case, it's 100% of the yellow. The black part is what's concealing um, the or masking. So that's where you see this kind of cut out and can, you can see the image below of the two people is because this black part is, is, is masked or removed. Um, and then gray is somewhere in between. So 50% gray gives us about a 50% transparency, um, which I'll show you a little bit more. So go ahead and hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the layer mask thumbnail to disable the mask. So hold down shift and then click on the layer mask thumbnail. And this big red X should come across the mask thumbnail. And so this is letting you view what this layer looks like when the mask is deactivated. Um, to undo that edit, you can just click again on the mask thumbnail. No need to hold down the shift key. And there you go, you can see your mask again. Um, you can also hold down the option key and click on the layer mask to see only the mask. So go ahead and practice that. Hold down the option key on your keyboard and click on the mask thumbnail again. And now we're able to just see what our mask looks like. So if you go ahead and zoom in really close, you're going to see kind of this edge where it's soft on the mask. There's some gray, and that's where that 50% transparency comes in. Um, so you can kind of see a little bit. Um, there's, there, it's not quite completely covering it up. It's not quite completely showing the mask, but it's that transparent in between. Um, so to disable that, go ahead and uh, hold down Option and click again so that you can see, see your, your whole image again. Um, so there's one more thing I want to show you um, before we, we finish this review is you're able to adjust the density and feathering of a layer mask, which is really cool. So with your layer mask selected uh, in your layers panel, go ahead and open up your properties panel. So if you go to Window, Properties, your Properties panel will come up. So notice really quick in this Properties panel, it's telling us that we're looking at a mask. We're looking at this, this, this layer mask from our panel. And then you have these great options of density and feather. So go ahead and just, just slide the sliders and see what happens. So the density is slowly changing my mask and the transparency of my mask. Go all the way back to 100%. And then you also have the ability to feather your mask, which is really cool. And then as I do this, take a look at how the mask is changing. My mask thumbnail is changing from that black and white to more grays. 
All right, so make sure you give this a practice and become familiar with um, what a layer mask looks like and the property panel where you're able to, to make changes. But just make sure that you have the mask thumbnail selected in your layers panel um, to have access to the property options.